how to create a time tracker and track your tasks in Notion with actions.so. Earlier I have created a to-do list in Notion and I would like to track how much time I need to finish each of these tasks. I have a task name column, I have a status column, and I have a time column. In order to measure time effectively, I'm going to create a task widget in Actions.so. So let's visit Actions.so, the application, and let's navigate to the settings menu to make sure that uh, our Notion is integrated. So mine is connected, as you can see, but if yours isn't, you can connect it with, one, with uh, one click. Now we need to head back to Notion and make sure that this page, the time tracking page, is shared with actions at SO. We need to go to the settings and members menu. Um, click on my connections. Here you can see that actions at SO is integrated. Click on the three dots. Let's hover over the access selected pages and make sure the time tracking is selected. Let's update access. Okay. You can navigate out of this panel. Let's go back to actions at SO and let's click on the task widget. Now it's a premium type of widget, so make sure you're subscribed to the pro plan if you want to use it. Let's select the task widget. Let's name it time tracking and let's select the database which we have just connected if you don't see it you need to refresh click on widget settings and there you can see the tasks database here so let's call it time tracking and connect the database okay and that's it we can remove the powered by actions at so branding let's do that and then all we need to do is copy the embed link, head back to Notion, Control Command V, or just right click and paste, and then click on Create Embed. Okay, let's adjust the size a little bit, just the canvas size. We can use dark or light theme. Let's use light theme now, and then we can choose tasks. As you can see. We have all the four tasks uh, listed here. Um, so let's uh, say I would like to implement progress tracking now. Let's select that. I can change the timer to as many minutes as I want. Let's say 30 minutes. And then I can um, make uh, actions that also change the, st the status of the item once the timer runs out. I think this is not so relevant in our case, but uh, it can be used as well. And let's uh, save and start the timer. This widget is very, very useful in my opinion. Um, it's useful for people who would like to track their time more accurately, uh, maybe in a project management tool or in a project management setting. Um, it's also useful for people um, who use time bucketing or maybe the Pomodoro method, small businesses, freelancers, companies, or individual people, for example, students as well. So now the 40 seconds passed, let's click on finish. And as you can see, um, the time column was updated. Okay, so it's that easy. If you found this helpful, make sure to check out Actions at ASO for Notion. Uh, we also have a document in which we showcase all the different widget types that we offer links in the description below. Thank you for your attention. Bye-bye.